Okay, here we go guys, script mastery, quick power closes, seller prospecting. So we just did a session on buyer prospecting. So this is talking to a potential seller, a prospect, and I'm looking to move this conversation to an appointment. So these quick power closes are quick, concise power closes, and we're gonna practice them. So script mastery is about um, practice. Follow along in your Real Sales Talk book, page 17. You can get that on Facebook group, Real Sales Talk. Facebook group Real Sales Talk, or you can email me, Pauly C with a Y at kwrealty.com. That's Pauly with a Y, the letter C at kwrealty.com for your Real Sales Talk script book. Now, uh, here's how script practice goes, because remember, we're focusing on the bold italicized words so we can sound slap and deliver better infliction. We can focus on those dot, dot, dots, which are the pauses, because I want to be better received. I want to project better. I want to be a better communicator. I want to be more influential. Don't you? Okay, so here we go with uh, practicing. I'm going to recite. I'll snap my fingers so you know that I'm done, and then I'll repeat so that you can follow along and you can work on conditioning drills for your delivery on asking great questions to set an appointment with a seller. Okay, so let's jump in on number one. If you felt absolutely confident you could sell your home, would you consider it? If you felt absolutely confident you could sell your home, would you consider it? If there is an advantage to sell now versus waiting, could I share that with you? If there is an advantage to sell now versus waiting, could I share that with you? If you have a proven plan to sell your home in less than 60 days, is that a problem? If you have a proven plan to sell your home in less than 60 days, is that a problem? If you have an offer, it makes sense. You're going to consider it, correct? If you have an offer, it makes sense. You're going to consider it, correct? If there's new information and it causes your home to sell, could I give that to you? If there's new information and it causes your home to sell, could I give that to you? If I, if I had a buyer between now and the next couple of weeks, what should I do? If I had a buyer between now and the next couple of weeks, what should I do? Power close. I understand. You're not going to do anything unless it makes sense, right? When we meet, we'll go over the information you need and you decide what's best for you. Close them. I understand. You're not going to do anything unless it makes sense, right? When we meet, we'll go over the information you need and you decide what's best for you. Close them. Okay, let's jump down to they know an agent. I respect you know an agent. Let me ask you an honest question. This is a big deal, $300,000, right? How important is it to get the property sold for the highest price possible? Exactly, that's why we need to meet. Close them. I respect you know an agent. Let me, know, let me ask you an honest question. This is a big deal, $300,000, right? How important is it to get the property sold for the highest price possible? Exactly, that's why we need to meet. Close them. Okay, quick power closes, seller prospecting, lots to do out there. Go set some appointments, Real Sales Talk.